Okay. Now, beautiful. There is 2021 or here technical drawing paper two essay two question. All right. Right now, I'll be, I'll be looking at question one, which says the sketch in figure one shows two views of a block in first angle orthographic projection. Now, question one now says, draw full size the A, given views with the plan. B, auxiliary elevation in the direction of arrow K. Show her even details. Show her even details. All right. It is always good to make sure that you understand the question very well now look through the joint now and let us see if there is other thing that we need to know before we start drawing now this is the radius the dimension for the vertical height that we have this is for this side and these are the dimensions for the horizontal side and the radius now also looking at the plan this is what we have also and this is the height of the existing vertical lines and the horizontal lines is made up of 80. all right now our question two, I mean one B that says auxiliary elevation the direction of arrow K, and this is the arrow K, and it is meant to be drawn with angle 30 degree. All right, let's swing into work. Good. All right, we're starting our drawing now. Make sure you have a question close to you, and all your instruments are available. They are well prepared. Then I have set my paper. Now let's swing into action. I'll be placing my question paper right beside me here. Now, first thing is to draw your all right, plane of projection, the line. All right. Now, we can measure on this. We can measure this line. Our base is eighty for this uh, front elevation. According to says giving view with the plan. We have to draw this giving view first. So let's measure on this line. 80. This is zero and this is 80. Good. So I'm going to label it A, B. Then my height, the height of my drawing, the first vertical line. So I'm going to take my measurement on it. Yeah, it should be 15.5. And here also is 15 millimeter. And here this side is 60. This I'll take it like this. Now, that is from here. This is my 60, and this is my one, the starting point. So, then the next thing is to okay, and I'm going to measure on it. Okay, 
all right now i'm not meant to talk i will erase this line because it's not meant to be on it all right i read this line one is to draw the curve so which will use my compass to do right the radius of the uh, the cow arc is 45 so all i'll do is to extend my compass to 45 to 45 all right then i haven't done that i'll put it at this edge here make an arc then I put it at this other part here. Make an arc. Alright. Where the two arc are intersecting. So I'm going to put my I'll make the center and draw my arc. That is done. And that's for my, I've done my front elevation as it is. The ones I'm done, I will still trace my pencil and my half lines. I'll make it bold. I'll make it bold or thick. All right. That is that for the front elevation. Then I'm moving now down to the plan. So the plan says, I'm projecting down from the plan we're told to, from the question we had to make sure that we draw the hidden lines, that we should show the hidden details. So I'm going to be projecting down here. I will take my measurement. I will take my measurement. All right. Okay. All right. So, sorry. Okay, from the plan, from the question, it is 40. The vertical line is made up of 40. 40. That's the base. Good. Uh -huh. Now, this is for my plan. Done with the plan. I'm going to erase or projecting lines. I'm going to erase lines that project more on my construction lines. All right. Then, this is done. I'm done with my given view and the plan. So, what next now is to start with my is to draw the auxiliary elevation says now given view with the plan now this is the views the two sides are done then the next one is it says auxiliary elevation in the direction of arrow k auxiliary elevation in the direction of arrow k now, mind you i'm following what heck that's west africa 
examination council the standard their guideline that's what i'm following so whichever thing i'm drawing i want to believe that i'm giving you the 100 percent and accurate drawing all right so the next is to draw the we are not to draw we are not to draw the auxiliary elevation the direction of our okay mind you in they told us that our angle of projection for the auxiliary elevation is 30 degree so on these lines both at the top and at the base at the bottom we are going to project auxiliary lines at 30 degree so now this is my projection lines for auxiliary for my auxiliary so all i need to do is this put it here like this project line from all the joint areas now to draw this my views on the auxiliary i have to also project lines from to, for the hack now this edges these corners this point at which i want to project my lines are uh, for this horizontal and the vertical lines now for the hack i'm going to project another one which i can just i can pick any point then take the dimension later okay see i'm picking this Sorry. Thank you. I have to make sure that my camera is very seated on the okay. Let me take this out for now. Oh my compass fell just now. And that can And it means the point to be bad. As you can see, my, my safe was not sitting properly on the edge of my ruler. So I have to let me change the one. Erase this and draw it again. Now you can pick as many as possible lines on the arc to the plan. And why we do so? When you pick much line, it will make your work to be. It will make you to get more accurate curve, more lines gives you to more accurate curve. All right. The next thing now, as I've said earlier, that we are now to start projecting lines from all these uh, points, from all the points where the projecting line is putting the plan the project line from it at 30 degree remember it's at 30 degree Pick from all
Beautiful. Good. You don't pick him a line. Right. Nevertheless, I will still have to extend these lines. I have to extend the lines. All right. My, let me pick my ruler on the floor. All right. So now, let's extend the lines. Okay, now let's extend this nice. Well done. Well done. So the next thing that is to draw my auxiliary elevation line. That's go draw my plan. Okay, yeah. Now these are my lines. I forget my line. Now I'm going to draw my new ground line. New ground line. Which I label A B. The new ground line. Then after that I'll transfer all my coordinates from the front elevation. And I'm going to locate the corresponding point of the auxiliary elevation. Then I will now draw my face on it. All right, let's do that together. All right, now to draw my ground line, I'm going to use angle 60 degree. So by the time I use angle 60 degree, then I will have, then I will be able to have. Good. This is my new ground line. I'm using A, B. All right. Now, I haven't done that. As I said, I use angle 60 degree. All right. And if I'm to take my measurement here, it's going to be 90. It's going to be 90. As you can see. And you can use my protector to do that. Now, you see, 90 degree. All right, so now it's to start transferring my point. My point, all right, from here, from here to here, it is 1.5. So I'm going to put it here. This is the corresponding line. So, Mark here, the second one here to here. Mark it on the second projecting line. Now, you can, as you can see, from here on my plan, this is it. This top here, this point here, here to the to the ground line, to the ground line is this. From here to here, this is my this, this is my ground line from the front elevation. This is it from the auxiliary elevation. Now, this point now is what I picked here now, and this point is here. 
So for the next one, which is this one here, this is the next one here. This is corresponding line to it. So that's why it's here. And the next one is from here to here now for this side. I'm having it from here to here. For the next line. And this is the corresponding line. If you trace it down, it touches the plant here and here also. So I'm doing this one first. So I'm going to put it on the plant line. Mark it here. Then the next one is from here to here. So this is the corresponding line. This is this one here. Mark it here. Then the next one is this. This is my corresponding line. Then yeah, I mark it there. Then after that, we have this one here. So here. Here. This is the corresponding line. Good. So then we have this. So to the plan, this is the corresponding line. This one here. You can see I jumped this line to this line because this one is for this one here. So good. That's for this. I'm done with this upper part of the plan, which is this part on the elevation. Oh, sorry. Let me see if I do this thing right. Okay. Okay, I'm right. I'm right. Now there's one I need to pick also, which is on this one that falls on the same part, which is here. So you can see we have one and two here. So and they all follow the same projecting line downward to the plant. And that's why I, I picked this and I also picked this on this on this particular line here. One, two. Alright. Let me label it for better understanding. Alright, this is point one. 